So this is the first kind of confirmed breeding of the year that I've seen it. The next time that you will see me and Lori, we will be in Rome. Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. Guess what today is? That's right, we are actually heading to Italy today, which means I've got to button a lot of things up here over at the Repterum over at BHB and get ready for my long journey. It is gonna be absolutely incredible. But let me tell you what's not incredible is the fact that my girl Lucy didn't shed. Remember I keep saying, I just wanted her to shed before I left so that I don't have to worry about her. Again, I'm sure the crew will be completely fine. I would just feel better if that I was the one that was handling Lucy and and those guys don't have to go through the perils of messing with this girl. I thought for sure she was going to shed last night. She didn't. She's still laying there. She still didn't shed. I guarantee you she's going to shed tonight. So I guess I'm going to have to just leave it in the crew's hand and hopefully she will be a good girl. Hi, sweetie. How are you? Yes, yeah, certainly one of the hardest things about leaving the Reptarium and BHB is leaving the animals for the next week or so. I am going to so miss you, Bella. You're such a good girl. I tell you what, and she just comes running down to say goodbye to me. So I am definitely going to be bumming. I know that she's in good hands with the crew and everyone's going to love her and all that type of stuff. But boy, oh boy, will I miss you. Remember we put males in with females with ball pythons yesterday and a few other pythons and boas. So this is the first kind of confirmed breeding of the Year that I've seen, and this is actually a super enchi pinstripe bred to an enchi woma ball python. Oh my gosh, that is so exciting to finally start to see some things breeding, and it's a really good sign that even after the first day, we actually have things hooked up. Let's see what else is breeding. Here we go, we got another lockup right there. Of course, it's actually an enchi pin banana, and it's being bred to a pastel lesser. That should be a really nice little clutch of all kinds of cool little things, too. Holy moly, look at how big Toothless is getting. He is just absolutely exploding and unbelievably puppy dog tame. I love this animal so much and as he's getting bigger he's just getting more and more incredible. I tell you what I can't wait till he's Elvis's size are bigger and has this amazing disposition too. He is going to be a great great ambassador animal for sure. Toothless you're absolutely incredible. This is really cool. This is actually a Cine Cypress and they spilt their water all over the place but it's actually a Cine Cypress bred to a big normal female. Of course the Cypress and the Cine are both co-dominant so we can produce some cool cine stuff as well as some cypress stuff and some various things beyond that. Exciting to see that all of the little alligators are just out and about right here just hanging out. I can see five of the six of them now are just kind of right in the open so they're settling in really well. Again I showed you the other day that we're clicker training them so they should be good to go. I love that enclosure. This is actually a clown head for ghost to a double head ghost clown. So we have some really cool ball python stuff hooked up today. There's a handful of other ones I didn't want to disturb. But regardless, you guys get the idea. Things are going well. And hey, it's just the beginning. So it's only going to heat up from here. Another month and a half, two months, maybe we'll start to see some early ovulations. And then a couple months from there, eggs. And then a couple months from there, babies. So you see the process is long. We're still looking at five, six months away from baby ball pythons. But hey, at least things are started off really well. And ball pythons aren't the only thing we're breeding. We're breeding all the other pythons, some boas, as well as the Kribos and even the blue tongue skinks. So things are well underway for the 2019 breeding season. You know, now that we have the zoo, it's a little bit different when it comes to the relationship with the animals. When we were just breeding stuff, don't get me wrong, we loved them, we took care of them, but you know, it was just different. Now we handle them almost every single day and it kind of just changes the way you feel about it. So when I'm going away, it truly is difficult. I mean, a girl like Perdita here is a snake that literally almost every day except when she's feeding, I have her out and she's being handled. So it's gonna be really hard to miss some of these animals for several days while I'm gone. I mean, she is just so incredible. She's certainly far from the only animal that I'm gonna miss. Take for instance, Taz here. The amount of time and energy that we put in to habituating these animals to being pet and held and just kind of interacting with us is absolutely amazing, which means that you get even more attached to the animals. I've always loved all of my animals, but now it's like crazy. It's like when I'm away from them for one day sometimes I get depressed and to be away several days is going to be pretty difficult. But the good news is I know that Tazzy and all the other animal ambassadors here are going to get spoiled even when I'm not here. But I'm going to miss my little go home Tazzy trick. Go ahead Tazzy, go home buddy. Go home. Go home buddy. There it is bud. There you go. I'll see you soon, Tazzy. I'm going to miss you, buddy. I'll see you soon. And again, that trick, the go-home trick, never gets old. Okay, you guys going to behave yourself while we're gone or of what? Of course. We're going to hey. miss you guys. What oh, do yeah. they say in Italy? 
Uh, uh, meet the uh, ball. Uh, meet the ball. <laughs> That's not what they say in Italy. I don't know. I don't what know. are you guys doing now? We're grabbing some super worms for Getting our bearded dragon. Yeah. Oh, 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 I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, you're in trouble. You're in trouble, guys. You we're, we're doing some bearded dragon enrichment. If you want to watch that, you can go on my channel. See okay, you. cool. Yeah, definitely. All right, so Noah's filming some stuff over there. Do, by the way, can you guys do me a favor? He is so close to 100,000 followers, just yeah. like 4,000 followers away. Go yeah. over to his channel. Link in the description. Give him a follow. Let's get him to 100K, please. 100. For me, that's my parting gift. <laughs> my parting gift to Italy. Do that for me. But okay. you guys are going to be good, right? Oh, we're yeah. gonna be good. Okay, no, no playing Hold around. Hold the fort down. We, yeah. we never Hold the fort down. down. We even started putting our mangrove snakes together, so hopefully we'll have some more baby mangroves soon. Who doggy? These things are gorgeous. An animal I have worked with a ton over the last little bit to be habituated to being handled is certainly Nova. He's always been a really good animal, but the fact that so many people want to spend time with him means that he's got to come out a lot, and he has done absolutely amazing. I truly think he loves it because when people are around, he always comes right to the front of the and he's always kind of like tilting his head looking like hey can I come out so he is habituated so well to handling and it's gonna be a bummer not to see all those people love him that's all right I'll be back soon enough Nova I'll see you soon buddy okay all right see you later bye see you later buddy see you later buddy Jessica, are you excited? We're getting oh the God, breeding yes. season started. Yes, yeah, something that. new to do. <laughs> exactly. So as the geckos are down, we put the next thing on Jessica, which of course is breeding the blue tongue skink. So while I'm gone, you're going to be breeding these guys. This is the first pairing yeah. that we have, and these are two sunrises. And when it comes to blue tongue skinks, they've been cooled down. Now they're actually up. Sometimes they breed right away. Sometimes they don't. But the one thing you have to do is you have to keep an eye on them. So poor Jessica here has to sit here for hours yeah. a day. I got a babysit. <laughs> He looks interested already, though. Yeah, you can already tell his posturing is like he's kind of like, oh, what's going on here? And basically what's going to happen is he's just going to kind of sniff around. Eventually, he's going to grab onto her and hopefully breed her. The downside is is that the first time out of hibernation when they're actually going can sometimes take like 15, 20 minutes of just yeah. sitting here watching them doing nothing. Once a male gets going, it's a little quicker, oh, right? Oh, yeah. He was a really good breeder last year, so hopefully he does good for us this year. And you can see how he's posturing, see how just even touching him, he acts a little bit weird. See, he's kind of moving around a little bit weird. And being that this is the very first time they're paired, it actually can take a little time. And, and Jessica's just kind of tickling the female. She can see she's raising her tail, which is a good sign. That usually is a really good thing. When a female will raise her tail as well as wag her tail a little bit, that's usually the thing is, it seems like maybe he's just not quite ready yet. Yeah, it's hard to say. Be. Yeah, he's just kind of sitting there and seeing what's going on. But again, this is just a kind of a process of elimination. Once they start breeding, they really get going. But uh, we'll leave him for another 15 minutes or so. And then if he breeds, great. If he doesn't, we'll move on to the next. And eventually, we'll find the right pairings. And then you just have to keep doing it over and over. Sometimes a pair like this might not breed. And then next week, you put them together, and they breed right away. They're weird. Sometimes like the certain males won't like certain females. Certain females won't like certain males. They're picky. Yeah, definitely much more of an art to breeding blue tongues than a science. There's no doubt about that. But let's hope these guys will eventually breed and we'll have a bunch of baby skinks this year. The truth is the reason I can go on a trip like this, especially bringing Lori along, is the fact that I have a wonderful crew of people. I mean, they love these animals. They care about these animals. And they care about the success of the reptarium and the educational side of things, as well as BHB and the success of breeding everything. So I am just so, so lucky that the one thing I don't have to worry about when I go is the fact that the animals are going to be cared for. I know they're going to do an absolutely amazing job, and there's not a worry in the world that I have about that. <laughs> Just coming back down to check on some animals to see the new ones that we paired up, and sure enough, this is a pair I was super excited about. This is actually a pair of pastel leopard clown ball pythons, so it's awesome that they're together, they're breeding. That is going to be one awesome clutch. As much as I'm kind of a little sad to be leaving all my beautiful animals like Casper and all of that stuff, and the fact that I'll be away from where I'm really super, super happy right now, I am really looking forward to this trip for a number of reasons. Number one, I cannot tell you the last time myself and Lori went on kind of a long adventure together. So that is going to be absolutely amazing. I'm looking forward to seeing all that Rome and Milan and Florence and Venice has to offer us, as well as the fact that I'm looking forward to meeting everyone that's going to come out to the Milan Reptile Show and kind of hang out with us. It's going to be an absolutely great time. Not to mention, I hope I'm going to meet some really cool animals, not only at the Reptile Show, but hopefully I'll get a chance to visit a couple cool animal places, maybe some private collections. I'm not even sure what's going on. The funny thing about this trip is other than the fact 
fact that I know I'm going to be in Milan for the reptile show, we don't have a whole lot planned. I mean, we're going to head out to Rome later on tonight. We'll be there tomorrow. And then we're going to hang out there for a couple days, head over to Milan for a couple days. Then we're going to do a real quick afternoon in Venice and then a quick trip to Florence. And then we are back on a plane to get home. So regardless, if you have any ideas for me while I'm in Italy, if you've been or you're from or something like that, go down in the comments and let me know what I need to see both animal wise as well as just awesome scenery and stuff like that in Italy. This is going to be an absolutely amazing trip. Now, although it's not going to be wall to wall animals in the vlogs, I hope that for you guys that wanted to see Italy, I can bring you on the journey and you can see some amazing things. And I'm going to leave some cameras back here. So we'll be checking in with Eric and Noah and Jessica and all the crew here to see how things are still going over here at BHB and the Reptarium. So it's not like we're just walking away for the time that we're going to be gone. But let me know if you guys are excited about this kind of travel adventure vlog. I'm going to do some animal stuff. I'm going to try to do animal stuff because I love animal stuff. But there's going to be some times where we're just kind of seeing amazing things like the Coliseum and all this crazy stuff in Italy. It is going to be absolutely incredible. But I want to make sure that you guys are going to enjoy it too. So now we're down to crunch time. This is the last day. We're getting everything set so Ryan and I can leave on our trip. I think I have everything set. It's been a whirlwind last couple days trying to get everything ready. But I'm pretty sure I got it covered. I got everything I needed to do done. I've got Beth here who is going to handle everything in the office while I'm gone. So I'm highly confident that she's going to do it. We've also got everybody else here. I think I've covered everything. I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty confident. Even if I didn't go over it, I think everybody here is going to step up and be able to take care of anything that pops up. Other than that, I'm hoping for a super uneventful week while we're gone. And I think that we're going to have a great time and I can't wait to get to the airport. I'll see. I'll see you. Keep good. Let me know if anything's up. I'll see you in a week, all right? All right, have Bye. fun trip. All right, guys, we'll see you in a week or so. So yeah. thank you for everything. I'll text me if anything's up, all right? I'll keep everyone in line. I know you guys will do great. I trust you 100%. I am out of here, dude. <laughs> don't cry. Don't, don't cry until I, Yeah, don't cry until I leave. It makes me want to cry, okay? Okay. okay, okay so. Have fun over there, man. All right. Freaking all right. Italy, dude. All right. Have fun. Hold the all fort right. down. I'll see you in a bit. All right, Andrea, keep the fort down. I rely on you at the rep time. I know you'll we'll do, do great. Have all a right. safe trip. All right, we'll see you soon. Thank you. So we are on our way to the airport. It's about a 40-minute drive to DTW, and then I think we're about two and a half hours early, and then board a plane, and then fly across the world over to Italy. You excited? I am getting excited, actually. Are you? How about you, Noah? You're not coming, but are you excited? <laughs> I mean, like, I just, I want to go to Italy, but, you know, I'm happy I'm not going because I want to stay home anyway. <laughs> yeah, so off to the airport. We will be there soon. Okay, so we are at the airport, heading in, getting through security, and then uh, getting settled in for a long flight to the other side of the pond. Of course, Lori, the troublemaker, got pulled because of her protein bars. Snacks. Snacks. <laughs> Every she had, time. She had too many snacks, so they pulled us. But we are through now, so we are uh, heading to the gate and about to board. I think we have about a good hour or so before boarding. So security went smooth. Now we just have, what, like an eight or so hour flight to Amsterdam and then a couple hour flight to Rome. And with that said, I think I'm going to go ahead and leave the vlog here. The next time that you will see me and Lori, we will be in Rome, Italy. So I hope that you have an absolutely amazing day, evening, whenever you happen to be watching with us luck on this trip it's going to be hopefully absolutely amazing i hope that you guys will enjoy it your guys support means the world to me and i truly love you guys so much can you do me a couple favors before we get out of here can you smash that like button turn those post notifications on so you know when i upload a video when we're in italy of course leave a comment down below because i love reading about your beautiful faces be kind to someone and i promise i will see you tomorrow